Today in the news, we got another possible NVIDIA GPU update, some rumors and games. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with NVIDIA. It looks like the company might not be done with tweaking its line of GPUs. After the first releases in late 2018 and the super refreshes of 2019, we now have a possible update for 2020. According to an EEC filing from ASUS on the 10th of March, NVIDIA plans on updating the RTX 2060. In the filing, an ROG Strix EVO RTX 2060 8GB model has been spotted. Now, you might be thinking that this is just an RTX 2060 Super, but ASUS's models of that card clearly have an S on its part number. Now, why would Nvidia update that GPU? Well, it's simple. The RX 5600 XT is a slightly better GPU and the pricing is much better. While the lowest price you might find for a RTX 2060 is about 300 bucks, the average selling price of a decent one is 320 and up. On AMD's side, you can pick up a 5600 XT for 270 bucks and it comes with some freebies right now. While we don't know what else would be tweaked with a new RTX 2060, one contender would be the memory speed. Nvidia could bump it up to 16 gigabits per second or 15.5 like they did with the RTX 2080 Super. In any case, unless the price goes down to match AMD, people are just going to keep buying RX 5600 XTs and 5700s since ray tracing at that level is the least of most gamers concern. Also in Nvidia news, we got some wild wild leaks. These leaks Pile up on other leaks that we've heard time and time again since about August of last year. To update that leak quickly, the next gen GPUs would be stacked like this. The GA102 chip, which would be used for Nvidia's 3080 Ti, would feature 12 gigabytes of memory and 84 SMs for a total of 5,376 CUDA cores. The GA103 chip would be for the 3080, have 10 gigabytes of memory and feature 60 SMs for a total of 30 3840 CUDA cores. And lastly, GA104 for the 3070 with 8 gigabytes of memory and 48 SMs for a total of 3072 CUDA cores. You caught up? Okay, so this is what we've been hearing for months. So what's new? Well, apparently those consumer chips would be using Samsung's 10 nanometer process or 8 LPP. It's closer to 8 nanometers instead of the 7 nanometers that we all thought that it would use. 7 nanometers would be reserved for the GA100 and GA101 chips, which are presumably Tesla cards. Yes, Jensen late last year said that 7 nanometers would be handled mostly with TSMC and that Samsung would only have a small part of it, but that is 7 nanometers. There were no mentions of 10. Nvidia has an extremely large product portfolio, so it wouldn't be surprising if he was talking about other markets for these 7 nanometers. The second leak is ray tracing for every GPU, which is a, a no-brainer, and two, no surprise. I mean, if consoles are going to have it, your lineup should too. In any case, these rumors are pretty weak with only one or two Twitter sources with no real track record. Moving on, we got the usual game check, free games. I mean, everyone likes them, right? And this week, you can get Anodyne 2, a Zelda-like adventure game with old school visuals. Honestly, I never heard about that game, but when I saw Anodyne 2's trailer, I fell in love. I kind of want to stream it. Don't be fooled by its appearance, by the way. It was released last year and has really, really good reviews. In a similar sort of visual style, you can also get the game A Short Strike. And lastly, you can get Mutazione, a story-driven soap opera style game. Not sure if I pronounced that correctly. All of these games are available until next Thursday, the 19th, on the Epic Store, link down below. But personally, I'm way more excited about what's to come for the following week. The Stanley Parable and the first Watch Dogs are going free. I'll make sure to remind you. Moving on to some white lies news, I don't know how to call this, but we got Stadia. So, about a year ago at GDC 2019, Google showcased Doom Eternal as one of their poster childs for uh, Stadia. During the presentation, they had this to say. We couldn't be happier to be bringing Doom Eternal to Stadia and are thrilled to announce that the game will be capable of running at true 4K resolution with HDR color at an unrelenting 60 frames per second. Well, guess what? It won't. 
In fact, the game will run at true 1800p and be upscaled to 4K. Now you might say, well, it's not that bad, right? And sure, it's not. 1800p with 60fps and HDR is actually pretty good. But when you promote your cloud service to be more powerful than both current consoles, even combined, and it turns out your service can't churn out the pixels, it doesn't look good on you. Because yes, the Xbox One X will run at 1800p upscaled to 4K at 60fps with HDR. Before we end the video, we have the Q&A for this month coming up for March, so you can go ahead and leave your questions down below with the hashtag QNA3. 3 is for March, QNA is for the question and answer. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the news, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you got any comments or questions, you put them down below. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, boys. By the way, I got this thing. I'm probably gonna review it, but I'm not sure what game to play with since like most of my games use four buttons and this has 24. Anyways, take care guys.